Hello everyone, welcome to Form 3, Mathematics, Chapter 6, Angles and Tangents of Circles. This is the summative exercise 1, which is based on the lesson in uh, Part 1 and Part 2 video. So before we start, a copy of these exercises can be downloaded from the link posted in the description below. You can download and try to do the exercise before you check your answers with this video. So let's go to question number 1. Find the values of x and y. So from the diagram, we can see that this angle here 30 is subtended by the arc x. This angle 30 is subtended by the arc 4 cm and this y here, this angle y is subtended by this arc. So if we look at this angle 30, 30 degrees which is subtended by this arc and we compare with this, the second one here, where this angle subtended by this arc x, they have the same values for the angles. So when the angles have, are the same, the arc also have the same value. This is one of the properties that we learned in a part 1 video. Okay, so x equals to 4 centimeters. Then, if we now look at the angle y here, which is subtended by this, the same arc, okay, from these two blue lines here, uh, we also know that since angle 30 and angle y subtended by the same arc, hence they have the same value. So y is equals to 30 degrees. Question B. X is the arc from here, the minor arc here, where 5 cm is the length of the minor arc, 20 cm is here, 10 degrees, 20 degrees here, and a y. So you want to solve for x first, okay? We need to refer to this, where the angles 10 degrees here is subtended by the arc of 5 cm. And in the previous video, we also learned that since this is within one circle, the arc length are co uh, proportional compared to the angle subtended by the arc. Hence, we can say that when x is uh, divided by 5, it, the values is equals to 20 divided by 10. So we can form this. The arc length here, divided by 5, in which this angle is subtended to, this is equals to the angles here divided by this angle. So if we can form this, we can solve for x, which is equals to 10 degrees. Now, after we get x, we try to find the values of y. So you can see that y is subtended here, subtended by this arc, minor arc, 20 centimeters. So again, we can use this ratio here to help us to find the value of y. This time, if we take y divide, divided by 10, this is equals to 20 divided by 5. Since y is subtended by 20 centimeters, this minor arc length here, and 10 is subtended by this arc length. So the angles y divided by the angles 10 equals to the arc length 20 centimeters divided by the arc length 5 centimeters. So y divided by 10 equals to 20 divided by 5. You solve for this. Then you get y equals to 40 degrees. Question C. Now we have to find the values of x here first. So you can see that actually this is the radius of the circle. Hence this line and this line here, they have the same value. And this is an isosceles triangle. So this means that this base angle and this angle have the same value. They are equal. So x equals to 30 degrees. Now when we want to find y, you can see that y is the angles at the center. And the x, x here is subtended by this minor arc. Okay, here. So this angle at the center here is also subtended by the same arc. Hence we learn that when the angles at the center subtended by the same arc with the angles at the circumference, these angles here have two uh, is two times bigger than this x. So y is 2 times x. Since x is 30, so y is 30 times 2, which is 60 degrees. Question D. So now if you want to find x, you can see that this is the angles of one whole turn. So x equals to 360, one whole turn, minus 250. You get 110. Then if you want to find y, you can see that y is an angle at a circumference subtended by this major arc here. Okay, subtended by this major arc. And this 250 is also the angles subtended by this major arc. 
Hence, we know that this 250 is 2 times bigger than y. If 250 is 2 times bigger than y, then y is half 250. So y equals to 250 divided by 2, you get 125 degrees. Now we have E here with this angle x here and y is at the angle at the center. And you are given this angle here 28 degrees. So if you look at this angle x, which is subtended by this minor arc. And this, the angles formed from the blue lines, is also an angle subtended by the same arc. Hence, according to the properties, we know that x, since x and this angle 28 here have subtended by the same arc, hence they have the same value. x equals to 28 degrees. Now we try to look at this. You will see that the angles x and this angle here are subtended by the arc, minor arc with the same length because of this mark here. So this arc and this arc have the same length. So when they have the same length, the angles have the same value. Hence we know that this is 28, the angles here. And you can see that this line and this line, they are radius. Means this is an isosceles triangle. If this is 28, this is also 28. So we have this information here. So based on this triangle, y equals to 180 minus 28 minus 28. And you get the answer, y equals to 224 degrees. Number two, find the values of x. So you can see that this line which passes, is a straight line which passes through the center. Hence, this is a diameter. So when you have, so when you have an angle here, subtended by the diameter, we know that this angle is always 90 degrees because it is subtended by the diameter. Hence, x equals to 180 minus 90 minus 25. You get x is 65 degrees. Question B. Now we have x subtended by this arc. And then we have a 50 here. Now, if we want to find the value of x, we can see that x is subtended by this, this minor arc. And we can also see that this line, this line forms an angle here, which is also subtended by the same arc as the one, the angle formed from the red line. Hence, we know that these also have the same value as x. So this is x. Then if we look at this triangle now, the tri yellow triangle, uh, this angle here actually is uh, subtended by this diameter. And sub angle subtended by a diameter is always 90 degrees. So 180 minus 90 minus 50, you get x, which is 40 degrees. Question C, now we have a uh, this triangle here with an uh, angle x here, 160, and notice that this line here is a diameter. So we look at this triangle first. From this triangle, since we have this value and this value, we can, we can find the value of this angle, which is 180 minus 100 minus 60, which is 20 degrees. So now we know this is 20 degrees here. After that, we look at the big triangle here. Since this is a diameter, the angles here, the angles here, which is subtended by this diameter, is 90 degrees, according to the properties. So, since we know this is 20, this is 90, we can find x by taking 180 minus 20 minus 90 to get 70 degrees. Question number 3. Given sq is the diameter of a circle, determine the value of angle RPS. RPS means we are looking for this angle here. And you can see that, actually, this angle here, is subtended by this minor arc. And you can also see that this 40 degrees here, the angle at the circumference here, is also subtended by the same arc. Hence, we know that this angle here are, is equal to 40 degrees because both of these angles are subtended by the same arc. Question B. Now we're going, now we're going to look for angle R, P, Q, R. PQ means we are looking for this angle and notice that as actually this angle is within this triangle the red triangle and this angle here SPQ this this angle here is actually the angle subtended subtended by the diameter so angle subtended by the di 
the diameter as q yeah? given as q is the diameter so according to the properties this angle has a value of 90 degrees and then from question a 3a we know that this is 40 degrees hence 90 minus 40 is the angles of rpq so 90 which is this angle minus 40 you get rpq which is 50 degrees question 3c prs we are looking for the angles p r s and since from question a we know that this is 40 degrees here and then this and the length of this line is equals to the length of this line this is an isosceles triangle hence the angle p r s this angle here is the same as this angle so if you take 180 minus 40 divided by 2 you get p r s which is 180 minus 40 divided by 2 70 degrees question 4 4a b c a so notice that b c a is the angle at the circumference and b o a is the angle at the center since the angles at the circumference and the angles at the center are both subtended by the same arc a b here hence we know that these angles here is half the size of this angle the angle at the center so a, b c a is 50 degrees divided by 2 you get 25 degrees now we go to the last question determine the value of c a b now c a b we are looking for this angle here so in the first question for a we already found out this is uh, this angle is 25 because it's half of this the angles at the center and th since this line and this line b c and a o are parallel lines hence this angle and this angle forms a pair of alternate angles okay so this angle and this angle have the same value which is also 25 degrees since we are looking for c a b if we can find the value of the angles of o a b minus 25 we find this angle so o a and o b are radius of the circle hence o a and o b have the same length this is an isosceles triangle means the angles here the base angle are equal okay since this and this have the same length the angles here base angle have the same value so if we find this base angle we mark we minus 25 we can find this angle c a b so to find these angles here the base angle we take 180 minus 50 divided by 2 o a b equals to 180 minus 50 divided by 2 you get 65 and 65 is the total angles here for this part if we, if we minus 25 we get c a b to get 65 minus 25 the answer is 40 degrees so this is so this is the end of the video i'll see you in the next video thank you